How's it going everyone? Dominican Steel here and in today's video, you guessed it, we are playing Neverwinter. Click on the video, obviously you already knew that. Let's jump into this. I created a character from scratch and this is on the PC. What is this? It's already, man, I'm not in character. Enter world. So this game I feel like it's way too underrated whenever I talk about free games the first thing that pops up is just Fortnite Fortnite this Fortnite that and a few other free games maybe some trials but there are just not that many free games out there anymore that offer a good experience like Warframe for example and this is a very under underlooked game it's been out for quite a while Let's see, we already played through this on the Xbox, so we're just trying to level up here and get to the actual story, but let's, see. let's take all, I'm not really too sure of all the quick commands, but hopefully this game is running good, it's not too much of a demanding game until we get to the hub, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot to take in. Let's see. Equip your gear. I would do that, huh? Yes. Change character now. I don't have an auto run. I for inventory. Quick. Let me pick that. Double tap to equip all of this. Okay, so I is for inventory. Shift is for running. We are on the laptop right now, so it seems a little choppy. It's because I'm not using the mouse. It doesn't feel like I need to be using it. So everything feels very smooth, especially in comparison to Xbox. If you guys play Neverwinter on console, it's also a great game on there. It's not too much of a difference, but in terms of uh, content being released, but I definitely would say it's just where, depending on where you are, if you're in the main hub, it is just kind of choppy. That's how some games are, um, just rendering everything and just not too well optimized for consoles but I mean, other than that this game is pretty solid in terms of how many how much it has to offer for how much you know you're putting in and you're paying for this is not a free to play game from my experience I mean I guess you could pay for some gear but this you just can't pay to win in a game like this. This is you still have a lot of fun, just like in Warframe, uh, with the mechanics. You grind the game, you level up a lot, get to experience everything. Let's see. Skip these cutscenes, but. If you guys are watching uh, and you're gonna watch till the end, then I commend you because sometimes these games can get a little finicky and almost boring at some points. Whether I edit some out or edit anything out of this, we gotta protect this guy. And they do come up with some interesting names: Makos, Makos. I'm over here, dealt the one of these guys sword and he's over there dancing around oh I'm gonna keep fighting all right let me just watch what I'll be able to do so Q what does Q do uh, so for this um, 
if you guys did see in the beginning, I did create a barbarian class, a human barbarian. Kind of looks like Eddie Hall. Don't know why, but that's just the first thing I, that came to mind. You know, with medieval games, they have all these weird hairstyles. Yeah, I defended you. Where's my reward? I made him as big and bulky as humanly possible in this game. So I feel like when you're a barbarian or a knight or any kind of just paladin looking character, you just need to be as strong as possible. Maybe you maybe if you're not strong as possible, still at least look the part. Like you're a hero of some sort, but games like these they just put so much lore into it and I know a lot of people find it interesting and vice versa. Maybe people don't want to even care about the lore. So we're at the bridge. Oh. I'm not even reading. Hmm. But I think this game deserves a good deserves a chance to redeem itself. When this first came out on console, I think it's already it was already out for PC for quite a while, but it's it's really fun. Of course, when you play with friends, but that's just that's just kind of milking it at that point because almost anything is fun when you play with friends, but. Sometimes, I would say, this game reminds me a little bit of Elder Scrolls Online. Yes, so, I like that game, and the community on there is great. They've always been very helpful, playing a game with friends and just finding people to play with, whether it's dungeons or just straight up quests, because there's so many quests in that game, going to get me started, there's so many. I feel like... That game is kind of hidden behind a paywall, though. Unlike this, where the experience is free, Elder Scrolls Online is just like, oh, well, let's buy this DLC, let's buy Morrowind, you know, let's let's buy let's buy every possible DLC to be able to play, and on top of all this, have extra skins that you're able to buy, and um, that's just like how the game works, I guess. That's not saying you can't fully level up to max champion level, or it used to be veteran ranks, but that's just sadly how it is. You just have to pay to be able to get to these new areas. And it's not like they make it free to play or a free trial or anything, but I just find it so annoying. I don't want to spend money on this game that I don't know if many people still play, and my friends definitely don't play it anymore, moved on to different games. There's just no, there's just no, I just don't see a point in paying for that experience when, like I said, you can play games like this for free. How do I dodge? I swear you could dodge in this game. There we go. Feeling powerful. Taking down the Dark Souls boss. We're feeling somewhat powerful. We're feeling, feeling pretty strong. I'm ready. That's all I have to say to this guy is I'm ready, I'm ready. So I'm going to end this playthrough the moment we get to the hub. I don't know if we're close or if we're not close or what. Ah, protectors and quiver. I think this is the hub area. So, borrow Steve from Private Wilfred. Time is of the essence. You didn't have to tell me twice. Mount up. Press 7 to ride your mount. There we go. 
Yeah, I believe you do have to pay for mounts. I thought you did. In the Xbox version. But I might as well just run. I'm faster than that mount. See, for some odd reason, Elder Scrolls is a humongous game. The game is huge. Now, there are a lot of places to get to in that game, but Neverwinter, in Neverwinter, the game is kind of a small game. Even on Xbox One, I don't think it exceeds 30 gigs, you know. For modern time video games, that's a bit low considering other games like, uh, I don't even know, uh, other games like Fortnite and so-and-so, Warframe, huge, huge games with lots of content, but they're like at least 90 gig. But for this, I think this runs, I think Neverwinter runs uh, on a web page or something because it wasn't even over... 100 megabytes to download this game off of Steam um, and it runs pretty smooth and I'm playing with maximum settings right now uh, no lag 60 FPS from you know as much as the mon uh, not monitor but laptop can handle everything feels pretty smooth and no lag no Choppiness, nothing. Yeah, I like games like this. You could just plop the laptop down and just play. I do. You do need an internet connection to play this game. That is for sure, because you have to log in as if you were playing RuneScape. Um, but for a free game, I don't know why this doesn't have that much attention. I mean, you got a lot of free games that try really hard and pack their games with literally everything they possibly can and are constantly constantly updating it and this is one of those games where they're constantly updating it just consistently just like uh, Warframe and Fortnite they're just coming out with seasons this game doesn't really have seasons but the updates themselves are kind of like a season um, I think this game just deserves more recognition if you ask me community on here. Uh, I haven't played with the community on Xbox, but I think this has a decent amount of players, but for the genre it's under, I just wish it was just more people playing it. Maybe on PC it's different, but on Xbox, nobody even looks at this game anymore. It's almost like it's pulling a a bless online or something. Who knows? Hopefully, we can get some bless unleashed gameplay. Uh, I think November seventh is the next beta opening. Don't know if it's going to be an open beta or not, but definitely going to post some more bless unleashed. That game was somewhat fun without all the little glitches. Um, I thought it was a beautiful open world. Performed decently too. Maybe they'll be able to fix some bugs over these uh, couple months. Door unlocked. Yes. Let's go down this never-ending trip. Wait, are they fighting each other? What the? They're over there fighting each other. It's like, let's all gang up on Dan. I just want him dead. Did I just waste my... I think, I, I think that's my ultimate and I just wasted it. Right before a boss, probably. That's just my luck. Just my luck. 
Oh yeah, you sit down. I don't know who you're fighting. I'm Dominican Steel, baby. Oh yeah. I'm absolutely cleaving them. Look at you now. What are you gonna do? Where did you go? I think I just killed them completely, broke them into a million pieces. Wow, this is a pretty long quest. Where am I going? I'm ditching you, I'm going this way. I'm following the light, what are you following? Bottomless pits of this catacomb. Oh yeah. That's just such a beautiful move to watch and execute. Absolutely cleaving them. Oh yeah. Just amazing sound effects. Where is my health bar during all of this? I have, this is way too <coughs> easy. Oh, I think I get health back as I'm fighting. Someone else? Oh, you want some too? Huh? Nobody? Yeah, look at that. 70 damage. How does that feel? You ever see me pausing? Don't know if it's going to show it on the screen, but uh, I'm using player me to be able to record the gameplay and the uh, cam as well. It's a great uh, app to be using, but for some reason the computer all of a sudden after an update, it's just kind of making it go haywire. Keeps uh, uploading or saying, uh, give me a pop-up about X Split Stream Labs and who knows what that I don't even have installed. Oh yeah. And then... Oh, that throws me. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, get down. Got that ESO uppercut, boy. Yeah, look at you now. Yeah. Where are we going? Going back. Next. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, Eddie Hall. Let's leave the vault. Rogue will die, but a fighter will hold the shield. So, okay. So that's how you do it, and I haven't even been doing that. Shift. Shift is the dodge. Hatched. This game's like updating itself while I'm playing or something. Hmm. Guess I can't do it. Cool. No. Oh, I can't dodge. I think it's just a running attack that I'm charging up. Right? And I don't have any stamina. Okay. Objective Enclave needs your help. Yeah, I think let's complete this. Let's receive some rewards for our hard work. Oh yeah, you need my help? I'll help you. Let's accept. You look like a pretty powerful old man. Alright, as promised, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Say hi to Mr. Eddie Hall for me. Peace.